Hey guys, Nick here and welcome back to another video. So last week I dropped a video going over my goals for 2021. I'll have that linked above so you can check that out. Basically, it's talking about uh, the fact that I want to hit $100,000 in revenue for 2021 and going through, I guess, the different avenues in which I make money. And in that video, I asked you guys if there was anything else you wanted to know in regards to those different avenues. And a lot of you guys commented and wanted to know more about teaching online through Udemy and Skillshare. So in this video, I'm gonna go through my 2020 earnings from Udemy by itself, cover everything I earned for the year, as well as sort of how much I uploaded to it and all that sort of stuff. And then I'll do another video on Skillshare in the future. And I'm also gonna break down why maybe you'd wanna teach on either of these two platforms. So let's just jump into it. So what I wanna start with guys is when you earn money online, you wanna try and find a good balance between effort and return, right? Because you don't wanna put in all this effort for a minimal return. And when I look at my online earnings, when I have a look at my YouTube channel, I have nearly 200 videos uploaded and I earn roughly seven to $800 a month, give or take in ad revenue. Cross-reference that to my online teaching through Udemy, I have way less videos up there, but I earn about a quarter of what I earn on YouTube. And it just doesn't correlate. So basically the effort I put into Udemy is a lot lower, but the return is a lot higher as opposed to YouTube where the effort is a lot higher compared to the return. So that's why you might want to look at teaching online through Udemy and Skillshare is the returns are quite high. Now, Teaching online, a lot of people think they can't do it. It's actually super, super simple. There's like this saying that I always remind myself of, and that is you just have to be 10% smarter than the person you're teaching. And as long as you're able to articulate what you're trying to teach properly, and then the students will come and they'll learn. And that's the most important part. You do not have to be an absolute expert in the field you're teaching. You just have to know it well enough and be able to explain it well enough so that beginners or people learning that subject matter can get value from it. So basically that's why I teach on Udemy and Skillshare for that exact reason. It's easy, the return is great compared to the effort you gotta put in and anyone can do it. The way you earn money on Udemy and Skillshare is completely different. So with Udemy, you have three pricing models for your courses. Off the top of my head, I think it's like $25, and then it goes to $75 and maybe like $120 roughly. I'll have the actual prices listed in this video. And then when people buy your course, you earn a commission on it. And Udemy itself will promote your courses through their page and all that sort of stuff, which is really, really good. There are sites out there where you can set your own prices for your courses, but you have to do some self-promotion, which is hard in itself because if you don't have a large following, it can be hard to get that sort of traffic there. So that's why I like teaching on Udemy. So how many courses do I have on Udemy? Well, I have three and they were all uploaded in 2019. I have not uploaded since 2019. These are courses I was developing for my own site on Selfie, which is also linked down below. So like I said, I haven't contributed at all to my Udemy account in 2020. I uploaded these three courses literally within the span of like a month or two in 2019 and have left it since. I've also been pretty bad at responding to comments on it, which is my own failing. With all these different social medias, it's quite hard to keep on top of it all. But you guys are here to figure out the earnings. So. For 2020, I made roughly $1,800 in revenue through Udemy.com. Now that is after tax because with Udemy, they do take out taxes prior to paying you. $1,800 for the year of 2020 works out to roughly $150 a month, which is awesome considering the fact that all the work I put in was a year prior. So $150 a month is a great extra source of income considering I'm not doing anything each month for it. Okay, essentially free money because all that work was done up front. This is pretty much the definition of passive income. Did a lot of work up front and now I earn money here in the future present. And I'm still currently earning quite a bit of money. So $150 a month roughly, that does kind of go up and down. You will find through any sort of online revenue stream, whether that's like Udemy, YouTube, Skillshare, whichever, you do tend to make more money in December, January, February, so the holiday period, and a lot less in the center of the year. I don't know what that is. A lot less in the center of the year, so June and July. So it does fluctuate rough a little bit, but on average, I was getting, you know, 140 here, 170, and then January, December would be bigger around two to 250. And that has been pretty steady for the past, ever since I pretty much launched my Udemy page. And that's pretty much it guys. That's how much I make through Udemy. I think this year I'm definitely gonna contribute more to it. 
simply for what I was saying before in the sense of that the effort is quite low compared to the return. So I think it's definitely worth investing a little bit more time into it. The downside to Udemy, and it's not even a downside, but it, they sort of they're two months behind in paying. So currently we're in February. So I'm going to be getting paid from the December revenue in February. So that can be a little bit annoying in terms of tracking. But other than that, I think it's a great platform. If you wanna check it out, I have left a link down below so you can either check out my own courses on there or maybe you wanna look into start teaching yourself. The link will be in the description. Anyway guys, that is a little bit of a breakdown on how much I made on Udemy. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel so you can see my breakdown on the Skillshare side of things, which will be coming either this week or next week. And yeah, hopefully you guys are interested in this journey for 2021. I'm definitely working my ass off, but I'm very excited with how this year is going so far. So anyway, until the next video, guys, see ya.